Okay. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to make candy corn out of gum paste. So for that you will need a nice golden yellow, white, an electric orange, Dresden tool, and a palette knife. Okay, so we're gonna start by, I made sure to get a little candy corn. This is one that I made in the past, but I looked online to make sure that I got the color combos right. So yellow, orange, and white. So starting with our yellow, roll a rope. <laughs> so I wanted word. to say sausage there because it is a little bit thicker. So sausage <laughs> is almost like ideal for this one. Just saying. You could say thicker rope, but that's all right. Thicker rope. There you go. Hot dog. Okay. I don't know if that's better. <laughs> so we got our yellow. Flatten that a little bit. Get a little bit more. Pop that aside. Next is orange. Same thing, gonna roll out a thicker rope. <laughs> a little flat. Again, I don't wanna use water. I want almost the tackiness of the gum paste to adhere to itself. Okay, and then the white. <laughs> So we are making a bit of a triangular shape, so again, you can start with a wider, yellow could be wider, orange could be a little bit thinner, and white could be the thinnest. Pop that on the top. I've had some students recommend even freezing this for a, a brief amount of time. Really? Yeah, to help with the cutting, because it'll be frozen, it'll be stiff, and then you can cut through it nice and clean. Doesn't do anything to the gum paste, right? Well, and it will start to sweat a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just centering that. So once you have your little multi-stripe, then you take your palette knife, and we're going to cut straight down. Oh, this palette knife twisted on me. Time for a new one. Don't worry about it. So about half a centimeter thick, straight down. Ooh. That one wasn't very good, but it's okay. So then now we're gonna trim off the sides. Actually, I'm finding, I think I'm gonna need a longer tool for this. Tina, you have a longer palette knife, don't you? Special. No, actually I want a palette knife because it's got that really sharp edge. Trimming off the other side now. So this is what you're looking for. I like to take my fingers and round it, round round it off a yeah. little bit. Like that. And then you take your Dresden tool. And then I make two little wine indents on either side. Like That's so. so cool. Okay. And there you go. Now just cut as many as you can yield out of that stripe. 